a recent trip to Sri Lanka, we learned there's a lot they don't tell you about Emirates business class. I'm Eric. And Shamli. And we're the OC Timballs. For one, the limousine ride to the airport and also lounge access is only offered on certain fare classes. Uh, but today we're not going to focus on the lounge, that's our previous video. Today we're going to focus on our A380 flight to Dubai. This is not it. Yeah, this is the old business class with the uh, dated interior and gaudy designs. This is the new business class. Plush leather seats, gorgeous wood accents, fresh flowers, beautiful color scheme. So the A380 to Dubai has a four-class configuration. Uh, the top deck has first and business class. Uh, if you want to sit by the window, I would pick the odd-numbered seats, which are closer to the window. The even-numbered uh, seats are closer to the aisle. Um, if you are traveling together uh, in the center, you would pick also the odd number uh, as they are close to each other. Then you have a galley area and the smaller business section behind. Uh, behind that, the lounge and then the restroom. What's great is when you arrive at your seat, the cabin crew has already prepared a mini bar for you. Um, you have your own headset, your own socks, your eye shades, and a tablet that can control the screen. Um, there's also a controller that's next to it. And then each seat is plush, soft leather. Uh, it's just incredibly comfortable. And in our case, we were sitting together. So, but if you don't know the person next to you, there is actually a divider. So you can raise up the divider for privacy or if you just get tired of looking at that person. Exactly. Noise cancelling headphones are very comfortable, which is great for a long flight because you'll probably be sleeping with them on like we did. And it's just a, a really easy setup. There's the controller there for your TV. Um, you just have really everything you need in this space for a long flight. Got a couple of for departure. A380 is just an incredible plane, isn't it? Yeah, especially on the upper deck, uh, you hardly feel the bumps as it uh, rolls down the, the runway. It's a very comfortable uh, flight to be in. Yeah, comfortable takeoff, comfortable landing, um, and just so spacious. And I do like the, the tail cam because you could see the plane as it like takes off. Uh, it's a really, really good um, option, especially if you are in the middle seats. It's about a 15 hour flight from LAX to Dubai. And so they give you a Bulgari amenity kit. Um, it is very well stocked inside. It has a deodorant, um, tissues, has perfume, uh, toilet water, shaving kit. It has a razor, um, lotion, so much. But here's my favorite part, the menu. Yeah, it's got a very extensive menu, uh, appetizers, main course, and desserts. Uh, that you can choose from. Um, and booze, lots of booze. And a lot of mocktails for people who don't drink. But also lots of booze. Like really good alcohol. Um, fine selection of cognac. Uh, they actually have their own reserve in France that Emirates has been um, saving wine to. Uh, so they have some incredible wines if you ask for the sommelier. Um, and they had the meals as well. This is Christmas when we were flying. So we had the uh, special Christmas dinner. Uh, and you can start off with, of course, warm nuts uh, or olives and... Show my head both. And I had two uh, mocktails. Uh, very delicious, both of them. Refreshing too. And as I watched my movie, I was sipping on my drinks. And this is my reserve wine from France and my um, sparkling water. Trying olives. to be fancy with the uh, toothpick. You know, for the video. And the warm nuts, I'm sure, right? With Stacy with the wine? I mean, really, anything's good with wine. But yes, it was good. Um, and just a great setup there. Uh, it just said everything was where it should be. Um, for dinner, it was Middle Eastern flavors. And as you can see, it was quite turbulent when we were filming this, um, flying over the Rockies. Uh, and for Christmas Eve, I had a turkey dinner with yams. But let's talk about the lounge. 
Yeah, on the A380, uh, Emirates has like a really cool feature for people, uh, passengers in business and first class. They can use a uh, in-flight lounge. Very tastefully decorated, very well appointed, very comfortable and very cool experience. I guess harking back to the oldies of flying. Yeah, spacious. Um, they're always offering you um, a slice of cake. Um, they have snacks laid out that you can take from. Um, it's just really, really unique flying experience to be able to sit in the lounge and relax there. It was also cool to be there on Christmas in the plane and about midnight our time on Christmas Eve flying near the North Pole. Just kind of a cool experience. And at night time they turned on the stars for us to go to sleep. It was really cool. It actually transitions then in the morning and lights come up and then it was time for us to get ready. So let's talk about the bathroom. It's really cool that the bathroom has a window. Um, that's just an awesome thing to have that, that light coming in there. Um, they also have perfumes and things for you to use. Uh, it's, you know, tastefully decorated. They have a full length mirror, which is rare and really nice. Um, it's just uh, it's just a well-designed bathroom, uh, well-stocked bathroom. They have uh, shaving kits, toothbrushes, which come in your amenity kit, but also they have it here. Um, it just makes it a nice thing if you're getting ready in the morning. I mean, the whole thing's designed for business people, right? So. Uh, for someone even getting off um, traveling, it's it's nice to be able to get fully ready in the morning in the bathroom. One thing I thought was really cool was they had this seat that you could put down. I couldn't quite understand why they had it, but I think it's so that you can tie your shoes, get ready. It's, it's a cool feature. With the Bloody Mary and some nuts, we were ready to go and, and continue our adventure in Dubai. Yes, join us in our next video as we explore Dubai.